Hey, groups, good to see you guys again this week. Uh, we are just about to wrap up our series in the beginning. Uh, and this week we looked at the story of Joseph. And man, there is just so much story in this in this man. Um, we looked at from the very beginning that he was one of the youngest uh, from uh, Jacob's family. So two weeks ago, we talked about Jacob and his favorite wife, Rachel, had the son um, who is Joseph, and he's one of the youngest from Rachel. And what we find is that he's the favorite. Uh, dad loves him. Mom loves him. And at one point, uh, J- Joseph goes and tells his brothers that, hey, um, also God thinks I'm the favorite as well. He's like, all of your, he had this dream where all of the, the sheaves bowed down to his sheaf. And it's like, You know, Joseph, that's probably not something great to say, but it was the dream that God had given him. And it turns out that that dream came true in a way. Throughout his life, um, he was actually sold into slavery. Um, And we find him uh, continuing throughout his life, regardless of his circumstances, always trying to do his best, right? He didn't allow his situation to, he didn't let the victim mentality become a thing in his life. He continued to strive to do his best and glorify God in all of those things. And we find that he, through that, excels um, to become someone who is really high up in Pharaoh's court and kind of monitoring all of the goods and the food in the Aryan lands. And what's so cool about this is, at the end of his story, years and years after he's been sold into slavery, uh, there is a famine in the Aryan nations and his brothers who sold him into slavery actually have to come to Egypt to buy grain from Joseph. And they have no idea. They actually don't recognize that Joseph, the one who's in charge, the one that they're buying grain from, is the very brother they threw into a cistern. Oh, there's, there's just so much in there. If you didn't get a chance to read through those chapters, go back this week and spend some time in that story because there's, there's, it's so exciting. It really is. The Bible can be exciting and allow the story to just engulf you in that. So make sure you do that. Uh, we're going to jump into questions, but the big reminder of this week is that we should trust God regardless of our circumstances, that God has a bigger picture in mind. Think that uh, the family of Joseph may not have been able to get food if it weren't for Joseph, right? That he had some really bad situations, and in the in that time frame, it may have felt like God wasn't active and wasn't present, but he was more active than ever, and he was going forth before these guys saying, I'm going to take care of you. I have a bigger picture in mind, and I just love that. I think that is just so cool. So, kids, if you're in the room, we've got some digging deeper sections on that page. Leaders, if you want to run them through that. Otherwise, we're going to jump right into groups content. All right, the first thing before we jump into the regular questions, the challenge from last week was to not immediately jump into fix it mode, right? Like if a sol- or if a problem comes up, you don't all of a sudden look for your solutions right away. Did you do- did you remember to pray first and act second? Did you allow God to speak into your situations? Number two, I want you guys to start by reading Genesis 41, 1 through 16. And for number two, here are the questions in it. What do you notice about this story? How does Joseph react to Pharaoh's request? And what is one thing that we could learn from this story? All right, for number three, I want you to start by reading Genesis 45, 12 through 15. All 
All right, the question is in number three. How does Joseph act towards his brother when, he's, when he has revealed himself as Joseph? And when you are sinned against, right? So make this personal. When you are sinned against, is it easier to want justice or forgiveness? What about when you are the one who was sinned against? Who sinned? Is it easier to want justice or forgiveness? All right, next, start by reading Genesis 50, 19 through 20. And the questions in here that I want you to wrestle with. Even though Joseph's brothers intended to harm him, God worked a bad situation for good. Where in, where in your life has God moved through a bad situation for good? And are there any other stories in the Bible that you can think of where God moved through a bad situation and made something good come out of it? All right, next I want you to start by reading Colossians 3 verse 17. All right, for questions number five, how would you explain what you just read without looking back at that verse? So you've read the verse. Now, how would you re-say it to somebody, not looking back at it? Paul tells us in this verse that we are to reflect God in both our words and in our action. Words and in our actions. Where in the story of Joseph do you see this demonstrated? All right, and the challenge for this week is commit yourself to quit, be quick to forgive in situations where you find yourself on the receiving end of sin, right? The sins that are against you. Be quick to forgive. And when things do not go according to your plans, recognize that there is more going on than you realize, that God is in control. Um, that is going to be it for groups questions. Stay tuned if you have some more time and want to jump into digging deeper sections. Um, there's some um, cool opportunities coming up that your leaders can make you aware of as far as serving that's coming up. Uh, one is uh, Feed My Starving Children, I believe. And your um, leaders in the next week or two are going to have some more information about that coming up. So think about, hey, do we as a group want to serve together? What, what could this look like? We'll have some opportunities coming up that I'm super excited to give you some more information. Um, otherwise, uh, we will see you soon. Stay tuned for Digging Deeper sections if you got some time. Have a great week, guys. All right, if you are staying tuned for Digging Deeper, we are going to look at a story about forgiveness. Uh, because as we look through the story of Joseph, we see he is a man who didn't hold a grudge against his brother, that he, that his brothers, he, he knew God was going to be working in some way, even though it never seemed like he'd see his brothers ever again. Uh, he didn't hold the grudge against them. And we want to look and see where else in scripture does this come up. And one of uh, Jesus' disciples, Peter, actually asked some questions about forgiveness to Jesus. Um, and I want, to I want to have you guys take a look at those this week. That's going to be coming out of Matthew uh, 18. Um, and if you want to jump into that, I would highly encourage that. Otherwise, you guys have a great week and we will see you soon.